Hey everyone. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I met. I wanted to say like happy holidays and stuff, but uh, I wanted to say I'm back and I'm back with another uh, gameplay of Jurassic World: The Return to Jurassic Park. And don't worry, I'm actually going to be working on on the Squid Girl video right now. Well, and by right now, I mean after I'm done this gameplay, because apparently I'm, I'm still working on a certain father of monsters of Greek mythology back there. So, I'm going to start where I left off. In this case, I well, last time we were at Isla Sorna. And um, I'm really sorry I was stuttering in the last video. I mean, I was, um, I had no idea what I was saying. Also, about the Yokai Watch thing, I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Sorry about that. But... Who knows? Instead of Yokai Watch, maybe I might do a gaming video of something else one day. Leave a comment if you are open to suggestions. So, let's get this over with. Let's get the let's get the volume up and running. And next stop, Isla Sorna. Oh man, I'm so excited to see this. Oh, guess I better cut this out before I get copyright claims. And hopefully, maybe my voice can block it out. So, anyways, um, uh, so last time, um, apparently, I was going to say that I just recently watched a new anime called Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and <laughs> oh boy, it is not a, for the faint of heart. It's crazy, I tell you. But it's a very interesting anime. I left the link in the description on the playlist if you want to check it out for yourself. We call it Site B, originally a massive holding pen and secondary research facility for our dinosaurs. Spared no expense. Whoa! Corthosauruses and Pachycephalosauruses. Nice. Aye, that is certainly one way to look at it. And another way, John? Yeah, it's also about the diversity of the environment. In other words, we weren't sure they'd survive on um, Isla Nublar. Darwin's most famous works were centered on species he studied on the Galapagos Islands. Whoa! It also has the benefit of keeping Stegosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and Gallimimus. Yeah. Nice. And making potential rescue uh, like thousands of miles away. Always the negative with you, Dr. Malcolm. So here we are. For now, we focus on the job at hand. Cabot. Yes, sir, Mr. Hammond. So, I think we'll need a new base of operations. Ranger outpost and visitor center, maybe? Would make a good headquarters. Okay, so... Here's the first gameplay, and... <laughs> let's begin. Start mission. Now, what could be the perfect place to put it? Man, look at all these dinosaurs. Okay, now I think I know the perfect place to put it. Ranger Outpost. Uh... Did you two know about this island? Of course not. We're in the dark as much as you are, Dr. Malcolm. Who knows? Maybe it's just our inferior brains that can't cope with chaos. Hmm. Well, uncertainty, you know, can be a guiding light. Chaos is about the unexpected, and uh, that's, what, uh, that's what I'm here for. Well, I'm here because of the dinosaurs. And because of the lovely Dr. Sattler, if I'm not mistaken. That's really not any business of yours. I guess this here, this will do. Okay, now to put the street. You know, we're on another island, so what do you say I put like a normal path? Also, the ironically, uh, I keep saying ironic for some reason. You want to know something interesting? I, uh, for when I first saw the Jurassic Park movie, I thought, I thought, I thought um, Dennis Nedry was was um, 
was John Hammond's son. <laughs> Man, I was wrong on that part. Okay, just need to wait for the construction to be done and will you look at that? Alright. Okay, so everything seems to be doing well. Also in the last video, I forgot to mention that when when the build when the visitor center gets completely damaged, the roof shows the welcome to Jurassic Park sign falling on, on the floor which is in the movie. And I gotta admit, that's actually a, an amazing nod. I wanna give Frontier a round of applause for that, for that amazing homage. Okay, I think, okay, for some reason it's not working, so maybe I need like a geothermal power station. Hmm, what could be the perfect place to put it? Uh, oh hey, how about here? Yeah, here's good. I mean, I like, I mean, nice and tucked. Wait, hang on a second. Uh, that's weird. Had a high rise though, but I'm not mad. Okay, everything seems to be working just fine. Now I just need to get, I just need to add the power lines. I just need to add the power lines. Wait, hold on a second. This ruins a natural flow. Get the. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. Why isn't it still why isn't it still working? What am I doing wrong? Requires path collection connection. What are you talking about? The path is already connected. Um uh, hang on a second. Hmm. Maybe there's like a health, uh, help or something. There we go. Okay, it says here, everything in your park needs to be connected to a path network uh, to the network used in the attachment point of each building. 
Hey everyone! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm back, and it turns out I figure out what I did wrong. Apparently, I had to I had to add an arrival helipad in the in the process in order to connect everything. So um, so this is it. This is not bad. It's actually pretty good. Now while I'm but apparently my next mission is I have to isolate a group of stegosaurs, <laughs> and what better way to do it than this? Than this. Here they are. Here and here and here it is. Now here are the stegosaurs in the game, and I have to admit they look extremely identical to the ones in the Lost World Jurassic Park. They are beautiful at at least. They're incredible. <laughs> they're 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 and I, although I gotta admit, I prefer the one I, I I prefer the ones in the in Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because they have more decorative um, dorsal plates, but these ones, well, you gotta go with the classics. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a look at the Gallimimuses. Okay, the same thing. This is the basic pattern. Now, what's the Stegosaurus? Ah, 1997 pattern. Not bad. Now let's take a look at the other species of dinosaurs. Here is the Parasaurolophus, the 1997 pattern. And again, not bad. Um, okay, I swear there were, there were Pachycephalosaurus somewhere. Oh, they're- oh! <gasps> Mementisaurus! Oh yeah! I remember them being in the- I remember them being in the Lost World Jurassic Park, that's awesome! I saw Pachycephalosaurus, and where are they? Ah, uh, oh! Here's the Corythosaurus. And they look just as, and they look majestic. This is a basic pattern, because... I guess they wanted to pay homage to Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, too. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze there. So, um, yeah! Corythosaurus look good, as always. And here is the Pachycephalosaurus. And again, this is the basic pattern, and apparently it is overcrowded for some reason. But that's okay, I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not perfect. Okay, I have to isolate a group of, I, apparently I have to isolate a, a group of stegosaurs. So, how do I do this exactly? Oh, okay, I get it, I have to make a fence. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. Okay, I, I gotta make it. I gotta make this thing big enough for the uh, for the visitors to. But I don't want to make it oh, make it too big because I have to travel across the island. There, see? Power and electricity. I gotta make this big enough uh, for the stegosaurus to thrive in. Okay, fence is complete. Now to add a now to add a lake. But before I do that, I want to take a look at the decorations. Oh, ho, 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 and maybe just add a restroom in there because, you no, know, why not? You know what? Maybe I just maybe I need to add a restroom in here because, eh, why not? I know I said that twice, but he left us. There we go, private restroom, and maybe another one just in case. Now let's take a look at the decorations. <gasps> look at that! Okay, there's the crown light, the east dock, the, ar the arrival helipad. You know what, I'm gonna add the decorations later when I have enough money. In the meantime, I'm gonna- Ooh, look, there's the Lophosaurus, there's Tyrannosaurus Rex, there's a Velociraptor, there's Brachiosaurus, there's Parasaurolophus, 
Ah, dang it. Ah, dang it. Sorry, my controller has drift. There's Triceratops. There's Gallimimus. There's Pteranodon. There is Ankylosaur. There is a tri there, there is a Ceratopsian. There's Bra there's Hadrosaurid. There's Met. There's Iguanodon. There's Ornithomimid and Sauropodia. And there's a Stegosaurid. I guess I can put this one. I guess I could put this one in here because eh, why not? I guess I could put this one in here because it's a Stegosaur habitat. Okay. Oh, and since and since it's and since I'm gonna put it in the middle of a gate. And since this is a this needs a gate, I'm gonna put it right here. Um, wait, hang on a second. There are tons of them. Okay, let's see. Now let's take a look at the... Wait, this is the wrong one. Okay, let's see the last... Uh, there's Pachycephalosaurid, large carnivore, medium carnivore, small carnivore, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Ooh, and 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 just to light up and and allow me to put a lump and um and uh, speaking of dis of dinosaurs, I'm gonna t say something from Disney's dinosaur from Mr. Lizard from Doc from Mr. Lizard. Well, Timmy, perhaps we should put some light on the subject. We're gonna need another Timmy! <laughs> I don't know if you guys might get that joke, but it was an old show from Disney's Dinosaur Dinosaurs, and I loved it when I would loved it. I recently discovered it when I went when I when I was at the library at St. Marcelinas. Too bad I already graduated from there. Okay. Now let's take a look at the scenery. Oh <gasps> redwood trees! Cool! Okay, so here's all the redwood trees. Not bad, not bad. There's some rocks, and yeah, that's pretty much it. But you know what? Since I'm a since I'm a, a Jurassic Park fan, let, let's see if we can put some put some nature in the subject. Let's see if we can put some nature on the subject. Let's dance. Ooh, I think I might have made it a little too big there. There we go. Okay, that's every. Okay, that's everything. Oh, one more thing. Two. Two feeding closures. Okay, now to get all the stegosaurs. Wow, the holy shit, there's six of them. Tranquilize. Adding task. Confirming task. I hope my my ranger team doesn't doesn't get mangled by these because I actually see it saw the promotional picture. Uh, 
Okay, I think that's... I think that's one. Now for the... S Oh shoot. <gasps> oh no! I hope nothing happens. Okay, last one. But you know what? I'm gonna do this myself. Wait, wrong button. Um, hang on, how do I... Oh, you press Y. Oh, shit! Ranger vehicle under attack. Yeah, got him! Okay, that's everyone. Oh, shoot, last one. You know what? I'm gonna do this myself. That one's on the loose. I'm on a... In the words of Rick and Morty, that guy from Rick and Morty... Guy from Rick and Morty... Your theme park has now become a wild safari! I can't remember anything, but oh shoot. Yeah! Tick, tick, boom! Okay, that's one. Heading to collect the asset. Collecting asset. Okay. En route to collect the asset. I hope this doesn't become overcrowded because I actually picking up asset. Asset to be collected. Assets in the air. Oh, and uh, speaking of Rick and Morty, I recently watched the. Uh, Wait, what was that episode called? Vindicators? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Apparently, apparently, <laughs> to be honest, that episode was well, well, turned darker than I thought it would. Apparently, the Rick got so drunk he had no idea what the hell he just did. So basically, he, so basically, he had such a blackout he. He basically uh, constructed this saw, this saw-based, uh, based torture chamber, killing off one by one except for one. I forgot her name, but gruesome stuff. Okay. Oh. I hope the Stegosaurus is like their new home, like their home. I hope the Stegosaurus is like their new home. Wait, is that all of them? Okay, I think I got everything under control. Come on, last one. Okay, it seems that the Stegosaurs are having are having are having fun. I guess everything is working out perfectly. Just hope the sixth one um, makes it out okay. I also love how they use the original sounds from 
from the Lost World Jurassic Park to make the Stegosaurus for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I feel bad for the poor fella that got its tooth yanked out by that guy. What an asshole. Okay, that's all of them. And just like that, I did it. We're administering the breeding countermeasure through the feeders. This is a huge step forward from the previous injection method. And Mr. Hammond wants to make sure this works. We'll observe the affected dinosaurs until we can confirm the effectiveness of the treatment. If this works, we won't have to train the dinosaurs as much. That'll help with their anxiety as well. A prehistoric animal has to be confused when it's being chased by a vehicle. I mean, what point of reference could it possibly have? Or, I really hadn't thought about it that way before. They are as afraid of us as we are of them. If, if I were afraid. Fear is a survival instinct, Cabot. Any animal without it won't be around long. <laughs> huh. I should be around Yeah, forever. tell the... <laughs> Yeah, tell that to the dodo. <laughs> Actually, yeah, fun fact. Centuries without natural predators have caused the dodo's DNA to evolve without fear genes. So, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Apparently, the dodo never had any natural predators. So, but its only predator that it didn't adapt from was were, were, were farm animals that the, that the Dutch left behind back in 1662. Apparently, the the pigs on the island uh, started eating their uh, eating their resources and and chased the dodos out at bay. It's surprisingly sad. So, anyways, yeah. Oh, and uh, speaking of that episode of Rick and Morty, apparently Rick told them. Apparently Rick told. Rick told Morty that the that the surprise in, at the end wasn't for him. It was it was for it was for Noob Noob. Unfor apparently he got so drunk he forgot who Noob Noob was. <laughs> to be honest, Rick is a pretty destructive character. I feel I I honestly feel I don't know if I should hate him or feel bad for him. Okay, call me crazy, but if I do make a thumbnail for this video, which I am going to make a thumbnail for the first one, I might make a Rick and Morty, well... Oh, we should observe the dinosaurs and look for behavioral changes. Photographic evidence should do. I'll get together a list. Like I said, if I, if, if, if um, call me crazy, but I might do like a Rick and Morty, like a Rick and Morty reference in, um... Um, on my thumbnail, like, like Rick being like, like Rick being like, um, uh, I'm pr uh, like, um, uh, damn it, I can't even think of anything, but Dr. I, I think I might uh, make like Rick, like the guy who is in, uh, who is killed by the baby T-Rex in Jurassic Park, in, in the Lost World Jurassic Park, <laughs> but I, but I might be wrong on that one. Uh, I might, I might, I might, who knows. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna take pictures. Hey, where'd they go? That's weird. Oh shoot! Move, 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 move! I don't want the char. I don't want them to charge at me. Two. Ranger vehicle under attack. Something's not right. That's an understatement. What do you mean? The animals here—they aren't responding like they did on Isla Nublar. I haven't seen any of the dinosaurs exhibiting symptoms. The two are not mutually exclusive, Dr. Grant. I think Dr. Malcolm... Ian, please. I think Dr. Malcolm is correct. But we... uh, sorry, everyone. Uh, apparently, I haven't started recording yet, but...
Don't worry, I'm still at it again. <sighs> okay, research DNA sequencer. Apparently, while I was while I was uh, putting the dinosaurs in their cages in this in this new dent in this new um enclosure I had for them they were going ape shit apparently they were running around back and forth and they and they bashed into my jeep like several times and <laughs> apparently it wasn't it wasn't pretty like really wasn't pretty so um i'm going to see what i'm going to see what we're what we're dealing with here and Hopefully we might have have a lead in the situation. Okay, let's take a look. Hello there, Mr. Hello, Mr. DNA. Okay, bird flu. Oh, there it is. DNA sequencer. Let's see if I can uh, fix those faulty stegosaurs. <laughs> swear they're like glitching out over there. Feel bad for them. I feel bad for them. I mean, they don't deserve to suffer like that. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so the DNA sequencer is complete. Now... We've developed a dart-based solution to the symptoms. The causes, however, they run right to the core of these dinosaurs, to their DNA. The fix will require a recompiled genome and new incubations. Feel sorry for these poor creatures. Okay, so it seems to be working. Okay, last two. Okay. Okay. All these dinosaurs are medicated and counted for. I just need to wait for this guy to move. Hope he doesn't run over the stegosaurus head. <gasps> oh shoot, oh shoot. I 
swear this guy's like a drunk driver. There, you're welcome. Poor thing. His head gets smooshed. Nah, it looks fine. I did it! I did my third mission! Team Bravo! Yeah! So I hear we've Fourth mission. good news. We're ready to proceed with incubating Cons new dinosaurs. John, you were never ready to bring dinosaurs back to life. A little bit more belief, Dr. Malcolm, and we'll be there soon. Chaos doesn't require belief. Okay, so where do I... This is it, isn't it? We're back in the dinosaur business? I'm calling it Paleo Curation, but yes, young Calvert, yes we are. And it all starts with our eggs. Dr. Grant, this is where you literally make history. History with teeth and claws and uh, aggressive dispositions. I'm ready, John. We'll start by constructing and connecting some hatcheries. Wait a minute. Wait, so where do I put them? I think I need to delete one of the restrooms. And I think I need need to remove this water too. Wait a minute. En route to pick up the asset. Acknowledging asset collection request. Asset required collection. Asset collection request received. Collecting asset. Asset collection request. Wait a minute. Transit has commenced. Asset transportation in progress. Asset in transit. Three hatcheries? Wait a minute. Wait, what dinosaurs do I have to make for this? Because I'm actually really scared. So, apparently I have to do 
think about this real quick, cause uh... <laughs> it's not what I had in mind here. Now... Okay, now let's see, what dinosaurs should I make? If I'm supposed to make T-Rex, then we're gonna- then I'm gonna have a real problem.
archive of genome data is a mess. We're gonna need to rebuild the library with some new fossil samples if we want viable genomes. What can I do to help him? Uh, you can help keep the man in black and Hammond's shadow out of my hair for a bit. What a love of all that's twice. good in this world, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hate to imitate um, a, a Sterling from Archer, but oh, the humanity! Ah! Why? 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 The Y in the letter Y. Oh, big comfy couch in the sky. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's like all oh, the humanity. Uh, uh, why? Why do the birds sing? <laughs> oh, gee, Willikers, the bank gave you a credit card. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it. Is that it? No, no, no. Oh! And now two Stegosaurs are on the loose. Not freaking fair. For the love of the love of no snora Now I have to chase the stegosaur sword down myself. Where the hell is it? <sighs> this is becoming a disaster, but Where is it? There he is. There. Okay. Any... What was that? Oh. <sighs> I gotta fix the fence. <sighs> there! The world... The world is saved. It, wait, what? Oh, that's cool! Wait, so you can only breed dinosaurs from here? That's actually not that bad. Okay, four dinosaurs. Okay, so the stegosaurs can only take a few populations, so I'm guessing I could I can breed like triceratops. Hang on, how much uh, how much population does the stegosaurus take? Eh, not much. I guess I can I can manage. Modified genome. Okay, something's wrong here. Uh, 
Okay, everything seems to be going just fine. Stegosauruses are doing okay. Yep, doing okay. I'm at, you know what? I think I think I got this under control. Whoa, whoa, what was that? I got caught up in a tree for a second there. Okay, I go in and out. In and in. Damn it. Wow, look how look how detailed the uh, detail look how much detail the redwood trees have. Such a such amazing handiwork. Oh, look at them all peaceful lack. Let's take a look at them up close. Oh wow. Very exclusive very exquisite detail. I feel like the dorsal plates are much smaller. Which is not bad. I mean I'm okay with it. Okay, now let's take a look at the... At, okay, the helipad looks okay. Ah, damn it, I couldn't just... Uh, you, know, when the, when, you know, when the thing was damaged, I couldn't have just done that to begin with. Uh, Alright. So, if that's modified... I think I know exactly where to go. Are there any other dinosaurs? Okay, so... <gasps> oh, man! Avian pox. I don't want to lose my points. Out of my way, Mr. DNA. Okay, let's see. Avian pox. Dinosaurs, they're not well. They need our help. Rabies virus. Avian pox virus. Okay, found it. Less than one minute. I can do this. I could do this. All right. So if I can get this on the handiwork. Okay, so apparently I was talking about a few episodes of Rick and Morty and I'm pretty sure I already know what uh, what what I've been going through. Come on, come on. Come on! Okay, let's see what we got. Triceratops, Triceratops. Okay, Havian Pox. Is there another one? Feeder supplies inbound. 
Okay, so everything seems to be doing okay. Thirty thirty four percent. Damn drift. Damn, that was loud. No problem. Setting additional tasks. Last one. No diseased dinosaurs detected. Okay. Everything seemed to be doing just fine. I think I got this all under control. Yeah, got stegos, uh, got a triceratops. Okay, so that's one Triceratops. Now let's put in the second one. Okay, so. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, for some reason I actually want to mimic Golan the Insatiable. To the North Sea, I swear it! <laughs> oh my gosh, what the hell is the North Sea? New file genome of Parasaurolophus. Okay, that's cool. Okay, the Triceratops. Okay, the Stegosaurus seem to be doing just fine, but I'm worried. I'm worried that if I put the Triceratops in here, that, that if I put the Triceratops in here, their their population won't go so well, and they're going to be overcrowded. I'm sure two will be okay.
so. Okay, so let's see how many dinosaurs are in this are in this game. There is Consignathus, Dryosaurus, Velociraptor, Herrerasaurus. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Quartosaurus. No, I haven't. Sorry, I, I was just um. My Sora, uh, Proceratosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Baryonyx, Ankylosaurus, T Rex, Pachycephalosaurus, Gallimimus, Apatosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Euoptocotholus, or Euoplocephalus, Spinosaurus, Stegosaurus, Meg Metriocanthosaurus, uh, Mementisaurus, and Styracosaurus. Okay! Let's take a look at the Triceratops. Wow! Just like in the movie! Now, in my last episode, I said that the tr Triceratops looks like it's covered in dust and sand. But, I'm not complaining at all. Look at this majestic animal. It's beautiful. Okay, so... Okay, so... I could still do this. Now, in the original movie, the, sta the Triceratops uh, looked like it had a color of blue, but you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna judge. Okay, the Triceratopses are doing just fine. Looks like this one's the alpha. I'm gonna call you Trike, because why not? I, you know, this, you know, believe it or not, I actually found this really awesome and, oh wow, this really awesome and, uh, um, interesting comic of Steven Universe characters interacting with the dinosaurs from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And it's actually pretty adorable. Awesome, I might add, too. And I hate to do a Mimic Gold in the Insatiable again, but <laughs> why not? MORE VIRGINS FOR EVERYONE! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, in the first season, Golden the Insatiable was actually pretty cool. The second version, however, went down the deep end. Went, and I mean way off the deep end. There's too many cartoony moments. I mean, sure, Golden the Insatiable does have some cartoony moments in the first season. It's just that there was... There was... It's just that the first season, made, they made Golden look like a stupid party animal. And, and Golan, and Golan, uh, that's not my, the type of Golan I like, but, eh. The second season was okay, gave me a couple of laughs, but... <laughs> Marvelous! Young Cabot tells me that our first new dinosaurs are healthy and fit, and the countermeasures are working too. Now we can provide the species that Jurassic Park will need. 
It should be smoother sailing from here on out. Yeah, you know, unless uh, unless we hit an iceberg. An unfair comparison, Dr. Malcolm. Our technology is far more advanced. Yeah, but not your methodology, John. This is... Okay, this is not going to be good. Okay, this is not going to be good. Wait a minute, I already have Triceratops. There it is. The 1997 Parasaurolophus. You know, believe it or not, this the Lost World Jurassic Park came... Oh, and they even got the same roar. Nice. But they still use the ambient um, communication sounds for some reason. How much do we know about him? Cabot? Hammond seems to like him. I've heard he's the son of a friend, which explains his lack of qualifications. Do we trust him, though? Hammond does. That's not what I asked. And what does Malcolm think? Ellie, I'm asking you first. I think Jurassic Park is making you paranoid. Okay. Okay, so apparently I kind of got in a bit of a snag here. You see... The par you see, apparently the apparently the, the the stegosaurus cannot take cannot take more than several different species. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to trank I'm gonna have to trank all of them and then relocate them back into the into the wild. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to trank them and relocate them. And I don't know where. I think I'm gonna have to put them back. I mean, they're not my priority anymore. Guess I'm gonna have to trank all of them and put them back to where they belong. Okay, the Paris office is almost done. And Skadoosh. Wait. Okay, now Skadoosh. Well, what about happen? Wait, should I trans transport him back or? Okay, now for the Dilophosaurus.
Okay, now I just need to transport him back. Holy sh... Yeah, I have a ton of Paris all this stuff. I'll have to get the Dilophosaurus. Now, from what I can gather, the, there, is a, there are fossils of Dilophosaurus in China for some reason. I don't know if there are actually Dilophosaurus in China, but if you guys know, leave a li leave a comment. Okay, let's see how the how the stegosauruses are doing. Okay, for some reason, huh? You know, all six of them are doing just fine. And you know, I like that. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, so I have five triceratopsids, triceratopsians. Okay, so I have five Triceratopses. I think I have to sell this one, though. I think I have to sell number four. I think I have to sell this one, though. You know what? Yeah, maybe I should. in order to make the Dilophosaurus in here. I mean, there's no way it would... This, it would hunt large dinosaurs like this. Whoa! <laughs> Did a UFO just, just came out of nowhere? Okay, now I see the blue color. Oh my gosh! It, it just jumped in the air! That's hilarious. Okay. For some reason, I can't... Okay. Okay, for some reason, I can't... I can't donate it. Well... I just hope this doesn't go horribly wrong because if it does, I'm going to I'm going to be so mad. Okay. Now Now what I'm going to be talking about here is something that I that I have that that believe it or not have always that always bothered me, but not bothered me as much until now. You see, back okay, there is a thing called 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 crypto called uh, creationist cryptozoology, I think it's called. And apparently, some create creationists believe. Okay, when I say cre okay, I'm sorry. This is okay. I'm only saying this. Although I believe in evolution, I still believe in my religion. And I and I and apparently I in apparently uh, there are creationists that believe that Parasaurolophus instead of the instead okay we all as paleontologists we already know that Parasaurolophus used its crest to communicate and use it for vocalization for other members of its kind. Hell, scientists even re now know what the Parasaurolophus sounded like, which is amaz which is amazing. And apparently it sounded almost exactly like its movie counterpart, but in a more deeper fashion. Now, but in this book I found, uh, they thought that Parasaurolophus' crest was like that of a bombardier beetle, and it can, and they thought its crest was used to produce, mm, to produce fire that comes out of its mouth. And I was like, what? Okay, one, that is the most bullshit thing I have ever heard. I mean, those are, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I mean, why would a Parasaurolophus breathe fire at a, at a predators? Well, I gotta admit, that does sound like a really awesome self-defense mechanism. But in my eyes, a, 
A parasaurolophus cannot use use its breath to breathe fire because it's physically impossible. If it, I mean, I mean, why would, I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, we even, I mean, there's even scientific, if, if, a, if an animal, I also learned this from dragon, from dragon experts. If a parasaur, if an animal needs the ability to breathe fire, it needs a needs a type of fuel source and an ability to combust the flame to combust the uh, to, to light a spark that causes a fire. Now, in this case, it, if a parasaurolophus needs now, we all know that the parasaurolophus is hollow crest is to it is to is to communicate with other members of its species. Sorry, I stuttered there. Again, like I said, Parasaurolophus has used its crest to communicate with other members of its species and uses it for deep vocalization. But in order for an animal to produce fire, it needs to, it needs to eat a very combustible stone. For example, like flint stones, or in this case, like, the, uh, like a crystal, a, a, a combustible crystal that when it rubs into its, it causes a spark, it combusts into flame. Now, I have to admit, it's, I gotta admit, now I have to admit, Parasaurolophus does not need to eat stones because it's, because its teeth, its teeth are already strong enough because it has an incredible, because Parasaurolophus, there is no scientific evidence that Parasaurolophus had stones in its belly. I mean, there's scientific evidence that Parasaurolophus had several, and other hadrosaurs had multiple different stomachs. It's, and in evolutionary terms, sorry, in evolutionary evidence, the Parasaurolophus never had any stones in its belly, or in this case in its throat, or in its gullet. So in a way, Parasaurolophus never needs stones uh, to, to digest food, or in this case to put in its, uh, put in its gullet to grind vegetation because it already has a batter a, a huge battery of chewing teeth that help perf that help perfectly chew vegetation and other plant life and other plant material and other plant matter so in a way that that theory that 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 Chris, that creationist theory that parasaurolophus breathe fire thing is bullshit utter nonsense and bullshit so <laughs> yeah and I know this is weird that me, for me to talk about this topic, but to tell you the truth, I wanted to get this out of my system because apparently it's been bothering me in my head for the past years. If you guys are listening to me, and, I, and if I hope you understand, and that Parasaurolophus is one of my favorite dinosaurs growing up as a kid, and I always loved, and but T-Rex will always be my, and Siggy Moloch will be my number one favorites. And Parasaurolophus, Alphas, for example, and besides, a, why would a peaceful animal need fire for self-defense? If it need, if, and besides, if it, if it, if it did do, uh, breathe, it breathe fi like that, it would basically, it would basically cause, cause like a forest fire or something. Parasaurolophus's brains, although hadrosaurs were not, although dinosaurs are not stupid. There's evidence that they that there. Uh, so yeah, it's there's it's scientific proof that Parasaurolophus did not breed fire, and we all know that it uses its crest for vocalization. So I'm pretty sure it was just a science. So I'm pretty sure it was just a creationist theory of what they believe. So I'm not gonna judge them. I mean, I mean it's who they are, but I I gotta say that is an insult to paleontology. Although I gotta admit, dinosaurs on the Noah's Ark does sound awesome. Okay, so I got it plugged in. So, um, <laughs> apparently we got, uh, so yeah, the Dilophosaurus is still is still incubating. Okay, now let's take a look at the dinosaurs. Now I got I'm really now I'm, I actually want to apologize for talking about a really weird topic like that, but 
It says that I saw that picture of the Parasaurolophus of the Parasaurolophus breathing fire at a Ceratosaurus, and <laughs> it's weird as heck. And uh, and although I believe in evolution, I, I still believe I still have my religion, and I'm pretty sure everyone else has their religion. And I never judge other people's religion because it's who they are. And I know that there there that people that that it's what they choose to believe and. And you know what? We're all made differently. I mean, take a look at dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are all made differently. And and animals, like my cat Dillinger here, who's sitting beside me, is also made differently. We're all different in every way. And we don't have to be the same. Be the same. So yeah, enough. So let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the parasol office communicating, communicating with its own kind. Now there's something beautiful: the majestic parasol office using its, its hollow crest as to breathe powerful sounds through its crest. I gotta admit, the way they 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 animate this is incredible. Okay, so the Stegosaurus are doing okay, but for some reason, I don't know what to do with the Dilophosaurus. What's gonna happen if it if it runs rampant through this through this peaceful setting? Okay, so there are six. Okay, so there are six Stegosaurs. I wonder what's gonna happen if I if I release this one. Okay, let's take a look. Now, FYI, this does not have an original skin. Apparently, this is the original skin from the first movie. We need to see that all dinosaurs on Isla Sorna are comfortable in their environments before we move our focus elsewhere. Well, as comfortable as they can be dragged uh, 65 million years into the future. We will get to work. Ooh, almost forgot. Yeah, I think I need to... Yeah, I think I need to... I need to put... Oh no! That's not good. I think I need to split. I think I need to split them up. Dim witted scumbag. Oh, please. Oh, please don't attack each other. Please don't attack each other. Please don't attack each other. Oh, thank goodness. He's walking the other direction. Away from the other dinosaurs. Okay, so the... Okay, so the comfort is doing just fine. Actually, in all of them, apparently. I guess one dinosaur was... I guess one dinosaur was just enough. But what about the Parasaurolophuses? Mm, I'm sure they'll be fine. I mean, it's only just a minute. I'm sure I could I could complete this whole mission on one island. So this is gonna be a long ass video, baby. Well, I'm glad the Stegosaurus are doing just fine. Let's see how the Dilophosaur is doing. Okay, I guess, okay, he's doing fine. Ah, uh, damn it, incubation failed. Wait. Why did the incubation fail? Okay, he's falling asleep. That's good.
three, two, one. Site B oh. is secure. Great teamwork, everybody. I did it. I a cheerleader, John. A little enthusiasm never killed anyone, Dr. Malcolm. Really? Because I, I feel like your enthusiasm has nearly killed me uh, several times. All right, I did it. Now that is what I call badassery. Well, I guess that's it. So, um, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because apparently it took a long time and, um, Apparently this is a, like an hour long video and you know what? I'm actually really proud of this one. Apparently I haven't started a bid and you know what? I'm glad I talked to, uh, to you guys about that and I wanted to get it out of my system. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, leave a comment. And if you guys liked it, take care. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.